Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, it's going several days since the last video and several more days since the last game video and uh, yeah, I'm having quote unquote fun with that. It seems lately I can start Minecraft and get on there and do some mining or a little bit of other things and whatnot. But if I start Minecraft with the idea of I'm going to record some stuff and even think about starting up recording software, that's when the computer goes into this reboot cycle. It just starts rebooting and every time I try to start stuff up to get things done, it reboots again. This is, to say the very least, a tad frustrating. Yeah. So that's what's going on there. I will eventually get the situation sorted out, but in the meantime, I'm more than a little bit less than pleased. And that's phrasing it as nicely and politely as I can. In the meantime, the subject of weight loss comes up. Because while I was in the hospital, they must have had me in one of those beds that has a built-in scale. Which, for a guy who can't stand on his, literally, can't stand on two feet, because he doesn't have two feet, uh, in order to get on a regular scale and get weighed, uh, the bed with a built-in scale is probably about the best way to do it. That's the good news. The bad news is that the number revealed is 320. This is exceedingly bad news. And it goes with this incredibly ever-swelling, amazing, ginormous gut that I have developed since getting out of the hospital. And we're talking extremely amazingly expanding because it has expanded to the point where I have stretch marks. Prominent stretch marks. Isn't that just so much fun? Yeah, I thought so. Not to mention, it makes breathing so much more fun. In fact, it makes breathing into a workout. Yeah. So what am I going to do about losing weight? Because sitting in a wheelchair, I don't have a lot of options. You know, physical activity is basically the, the key center point. It's the arch stone of uh, weight loss because physical activity is the best ingredient for losing weight. And let's just face it. I am in no position right now to do that. It not happening. And so, the only solution I have <clears throat> is good old fashioned rigid dietary control. Right now I'm working on the control part. We'll worry about the rigid part when I get the control down. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, if I can hit my target numbers or stay under my target numbers for a whole week in a row, then I'll see about trying to tighten it down to where I think I should. Let's face it, I sit on my butt all the time. Getting up and walking around is not a thing. I don't do that. You need two feet for that. And while I do have an exercise bike, you need two legs or one leg and a copy or an imitation, a prosthetic or something in order to operate that thing. Because you need to be able to pedal. And even if I was interested in 
applying that kind of pressure and whatnot to the end of my stump, which I'm not really, not directly, uh, it wouldn't reach. So, yeah, pedaling with one foot, no. That way lies madness. We don't do that. And so, basically, I have one, le one method left, the hard way. And thus, after a lot of thought and consideration, I have decided to reinvent an, an old invention of mine from years ago, which actually did work to a degree, the TV dinner diet. Now, TV dinners, for those of you who are born in this modern age and have never heard of such a thing, they were invented back in the early 1950s, back when having a television was a status symbol. I mean, television is everywhere now, but back in those days, it was new. And if you had a TV, you were somebody. Yeah, and the whole TV culture and everything was just getting started. And Swanson came up with this new thing that they called a TV dinner. It's a prepackaged frozen meal in an aluminum tray. that you would put in the oven at like 350 or 400 degrees or something like that for about 25 minutes and then you could sit there and eat your TV dinner in front of the TV. This was the whole thing, the whole big marketing spiel of that. You could sit and eat dinner in front of the TV. and. Uh, It was a whole big spiel. Now, we still have TV dinners today. They're just not called TV dinners anymore. They're called frozen meals or frozen entrees or things like that. I generally favor the ones by banquet because they're decent. There's enough, they make enough of a variety that you don't have to have the same thing every day. You know, there's like generally eight or nine different varieties available. And actually, I think there's a few more. And what I like about them is that each meal comes in at less than 400 calories. So if I have three of those and my mug of coffee, I can get my carbo my calorie total for the day to come in in the neighborhood of 1,300 calories or thereabouts. This is good. Now, I know a lot of folks are going to say, well, you know, you need to have a good 1,500, 1,800 calories a day. Y yeah, well, that's for people that have some minimal level of activity. My level of activity is zero. I sit here parked on my golden butt, my ever-widening golden butt, yeah, and do nothing. Well, nothing physical anyway. I don't burn calories, I mean, aside from the, the very few that you burn just to keep the body ticking over. So, yeah. By having that calories in lower than the calories burned, well, I'll put, I'll put it this way. I 
a long time ago looked up the BMR calculation, the basal metabolic rate, which is an estimate. It's not super precise by any stretch of the imagination. It estimates, roughly speaking, how many calories you need to burn per day to maintain your current weight. And for my current weight, I would need to burn something over 2,500 calories to maintain it. If I can keep my intake below 1,500, that's going to be 1,000 calories a day below what's needed to maintain, which means I will be losing weight. Probably at the rate of maybe two or three pounds a week. That's what I've got. That's what I'm going to be doing. Aiming to lose weight by keeping my daily average calorie weight, calorie intake, from 500 to 1,000 calories below what is needed to maintain. I mean, if I wanted my weight to be 175, which actually I do, the calories per day needed to maintain that is like 1,600, a little over 1,600. So, theoretically speaking, I could lose weight at a decent clip if I could keep my intake at 11 to 1,200 calories a day. That's probably not going to happen, but it's a thought. Yeah. So, that's what's going on. That's what I'm doing, and or trying to do. We'll see how much it actually works out over time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.